An Omaha widow invested money and trust in a contractor, but a six on your side investigation finds her expensive new deck is dangerous. Anyone planning a big project should see what we uncovered after Mike McKnight called on Omaha's chief of coats. The builder of this deck addition didn't pull a required permit, and Omaha's chief of code enforcement says that's a safety concern. They wouldn't have passed inspection with us anyway. 72-year-old Joyce Byers paid about $5,000 to Sewell Landscape. Pergola was the most expensive at $3,000, and the deck addition expansion was $2,000. John Sewell isn't a licensed contractor. You're required by the city of Omaha to have a license to work in the city to build decks, to build houses, to build anything. John Sewell tells Six Year Side, I didn't know I needed a license. It's an honest mistake. Sewell says a subcontractor who is licensed, Caballeros Construction, did the deck work. That sub says he expected the general contractor to get a permit. It's cut too short and it's pulling out. Davis found numerous code violations. That could tip in time. There's a whole, in fact, it looks like it's tipping already. The lack of good footings for a two story deck are most troublesome. If you had, you know, a, a lot of people on here, the movement of it, of the of the old part or the new part, mm -hmm. I would be very concerned. I'm just at a loss because it's just all a mess. Joyce says tearing down the deck addition and starting over may be the only way she can relax. In Northwest Omaha, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. Both the general and subcontractors offer to bring that deck addition up to code. Homeowner says she will ask for a reasonable refund instead.